Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an initial impressions of five very high quality mouse pads I've recently received over the last week. And I've just decided I'm going to do an initial impressions of all of them because these are all very good mouse pads. And when they do eventually release or come back in stock, for sure something to keep your eyes out for. So first we're going to start with the Quayar. I think that's how you pronounce the mouse pad. I could be 100% wrong. These are three different mouse pads. You have the Oceanus, Perseus, and Neutron. These are all varying in speeds based on color. We're going to start here with the Neutron. The Neutron is a very, very, very slow dynamic glide mouse pad. When I first got it, I, I opened it up and I was like incredibly surprised by the glide of this thing. It is probably the slowest mouse pad I've ever used in my life. That's really it. From like off the rip, the stitching is very, very high quality quality very low very thin so yeah so i haven't felt it in game it uses a rogers pawn base this is stuff i'm reading off their product page and so far it's just a really high quality product now i want to go on to the oceanus premium this is their hybrid pad this feels really similar to the venus pro almost one-to-one -one actually has a very nice it's very similar in quality nice thin stitching uh very good pawn base much quicker of a dynamic glide this is like i said very similar to the uh venus pro so if you're looking for something like that, I guess this is the one to go for. Here is the mouse pad I've been using since yesterday. I just I just received all of these yesterday. So these are all just like kind of like my raw off the like off the top thoughts. This is probably my favorite mouse pad that I've received to date. This is the Perseus Premium. This has a very controlled dynamic glide, but it's not over controlled like the Oceanus. The Oceanus has a tugging feeling where when you're moving the mouse, it feels like it's tugging. This one here feels absolutely insane. It is so incredibly high quality. And this one is more like a Saturn Pro clone pawn base. Again, very high quality, thin stitched edges. It's pretty much a Saturn Pro. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. So you can see the stitching between that Infinite Control and the Saturn Pro. Here is the Memoria Pro by Super Being Labs. I did a review of their Memento a while back, and it was a very, very, very good mouse pad. In my opinion, it was very bog standard rubber base very thick nice hybrid surface thick stitching but i feel like for their first product it was very good and then they came out and released this the morio pro i got the one in black they do have a blue copy and i received this not even like 15 minutes ago and again this is just like a standard control pad it has a really nice dynamic glide it's controlled but quick not too tuggish not too loose mind you i'm using lethal gaming gears glass skates at the moment i'm doing a glass skate section of my mouse skate master sheet so i'll put a link in that in the description if you want to check that out so far i've tested out btl super glide v2s lethal and a couple others i can't remember but yeah so this again is just a really high quality mouse pad and just off the top i feel like all these are going to be really solid mouse pads it's just really where you're based on i know the kuwayar pads you can't buy yet. I believe they're based in China and they're not officially released yet. And when they do release, I hope they are released internationally because they are very, very, very good. And it's insane the quality they put out. The Memoria Pro is released. I believe this one does have international shipping. I solid mouse pad, and it's something I could honestly recommend to anybody. But now we're gonna go into the final mouse pad for this video. This is gonna be a very, very, very quick video. Because it's just more of I just need to get these showcase and then yeah. So the Techi Pro is a very confusing mouse pad at first. This one's only available in Vietnam, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'll correct my, my myself on the screen if I'm wrong. But this has very thin, thin stitch edging. The issue with this mouse pad for me is that a couple of the marketing things are just slightly wrong. Like it's marketed to have a three and a half millimeter base. It's actually three millimeters. So it feels a lot thinner on the bottom. It does have a authentic Rogers Porn base, same as Artisan. It also has very thin under under the surface stitching. I'm always going to do air quotes when I say that because it does matter from model to model. Uh, the logo is printed on the surface. Very large logo that you can feel through the bottom of the mouse pad because you're not really supposed to print on top of Rogers Poron. That's kind of the reason why people are going towards Chinese Poron with all the designs on it like the Infinity My Series mouse pads where they use a custom polyurethane. The sizing of this is supposed to be 500 by 500, but when measured, it comes out to... 495 by 493 so it's slightly off on a couple of measurements which isn't really that big of a deal and it's something really hard to market but if anything it's it's overall solid it has a very quick dynamic glide very smooth surface feeling but it's not something that really is like that interesting i do have a couple things on the bottom don't mind that but it's 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 just another red mouse pad and yeah that's really all i can think of these, like, these are all solid products all solid products so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have you guys choose in the uh comments 
if you guys want to see an extensive review on any of these. Again, we have the Quayar pads. We have the Oceanus, Neutron, Perseus. We also have the Memorial Pro and the Techi Pro. So if you want to see any extended reviews on any of the, these products, just let me know. You can either reach out on Twitter at StubbyFPS, or you could also just comment below if you want to see any extended reviews. But that's going to be it. Like I said, it's going to be a really quick video because there's so many mouse pads coming out now, and I really need to get some of these videos out. So hope you guys did enjoy this video, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.